Hi everyone! Today I'm going to speak on the topic about how to avoid burnout while traveling. And first, uh, this topic may seem to you quite hilarious because what burnout from traveling? Traveling is a dream and travel lifestyle is a dream lifestyle. What burnout or being tired from traveling are you talking about? But actually, you can get burnout out from any lifestyle you have and from everything you do, especially if you are doing only it. Uh, so if there is no burnout from pleasure, then why we have burnout from creative jobs? So it's normal to have burnout from traveling, especially if you are traveling full time like us. We've been traveling for one year and a half. We are making around the world travel with my husband. And actually, sometimes we get burnout. out. And I figured out five ways to avoid it. So I'm going to share them with you. And the video shots you see on your screen is from Da Nang, Vietnam, the city we are in now and we like it very much. Uh, so subscribe to me if you want to see more videos and let's start. First, stop perfectionism. There is no need to visit all. When we go into a new city, sometimes uh, we make a map Yes, yeah, I advised you in the previous video. And we are eager to visit all the points of the map, to tick all the destinations in our bucket list in the city. But, to be honest, who needs all the ticks? Who needs to visit all the destinations? If you miss something, it is not a tragedy. It is just the reason why you should once be back to this city. It is okay not to cross all the bucket list, so try to stop your perfection and remember that perfect is the enemy to the good. Second, plan not only traveling but also holidays and stay longer if you need. Well, of course, traveling seems to be a rest. At first, of course, it is a rest when you have your job, your home, and you go traveling like two times, three times, four times a year. But if you are traveling full time and you don't have a special home, yeah, and every month, every week for you is traveling you start getting tired from new emotions, yeah? your brain starts being overwhelmed with all the new facts, impressions and so on and so forth. So, if you are traveling a lot of time, it is okay to plan some um, rest from rest days or even weeks. Like, for example, if you go to a new city and you understand that you are tired from moving from one space to another, then you can book your Airbnb flat, for example, not for one week, yeah, which you need to travel around the city, but for two weeks and spend the first week traveling around the city and exploring it, and the second week spending working, resting and just sitting at home and not blaming yourself for sitting at home because it is okay, it is normal that you get tired and you need some time to calm down your brain, to calm down your emotions. It is okay and it is the right thing to do. Third, find what truly inspires you. When you start googling some information about the new city you are in, you understand that there are a lot of spots and they can be roughly divided into, for example, the nature ones yeah, and the city ones. There may be different divisions, but for me it is like this. 
and actually nature one spots don't inspire me so much they don't give me so much energy as the city ones give yeah i know it is strange because usually it is vice versa people and travelers uh, explorers usually love nature but i am a different person so it is always so good to know yourself and to know what truly inspires you so uh, for example i don't plan so much uh, going uh, to the nature yeah and i plan uh, much more walks around the city and it gives me pleasure it gives me energy it truly inspires me but if i uh, did too many walks around uh, the nature yeah maybe went to some wildlife to some forests i uh, wouldn't have liked my journey so much and maybe i would have decided to stop it so again find what really inspires you and do it don't try to pretend to be someone else don't try to do anything because everyone likes doing it you should do only what you like meet new people it is the fourth way uh, because uh, especially if you are a solo traveler if you are traveling alone sometimes you need someone uh, who understands you yeah and uh, who you can share your emotions with uh, sometimes it is a very good plan to uh, join uh, some chat in telegram for example where all the english-speaking people from uh, this area uh, are collected or maybe find some group on facebook yeah and there you can find a company or just you can go to the bar and uh, get some acquaintances but just be careful i will make uh, a video about how to travel safer yeah and uh, just don't go with these acquaintances <laughs> anywhere on the first night uh, but still, communication sometimes help, especially if you are an outgoing person. Well, if you are a close person, maybe it will help too, because there is the fifth way, and it is sharing emotions. You should share your emotions, and if you don't want to meet new people and you don't have anyone to tell about your journey, uh, maybe you can use your social media yeah, and it will be also useful because you can gain new followers and uh, monetize uh, your travel as well. But if you don't even want uh, to share your emotions on your Instagram account, you can just uh, make a diary, you can just make a journal and uh, tell the paper what you are feeling. It is okay to... Uh, because sometimes uh, we get burned out because we are uh, too filled with emotions and we need somewhere, we need somewhat where we can pull these emotions out, yeah? Uh, like in Harry Potter. I think it will work. Yeah, so it was Tanya Jakova. I'm always so glad to hear from you, to see your comments, because if you know some other ways about how to avoid burnout while traveling, please write in the comments. I'm sure it will be very useful information for my viewers and for me too. Thank you for watching me. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.